ओम शांति मैं बस साकार बोली जुलाई ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री बाप दादा मधुबा वर्जन ऑफ श्री बाबा एसेंस ऑफ द मुरली स्वीट चिल्ड्रन द सस्टेनर ऑफ द होल वर्ल्ड इज द वन फादर ही डजेंट टेक सस्टेन फ्रॉम एनी वन ही इज ऑलवेज इन कॉर्पोरियल एक्सप्लेन एंड प्रूव दिस टू एवरी वन बाबा से ही इज द सस्टेनर ऑफ द होल वर्ल्ड he has no body so no question of taking sustenance from anyone so he says explain and prove this to everyone that he is sustaining the whole world but nobody can sustain him question what are the first and foremost signs of the godly students answer godly students can never stay without hearing the murli they would never say i don't have time to listen the murli whatever wherever they are they would ask someone for points and study them so we should be very much regular in listening and reading the murlis so many points are given why baba said daily read the murlis because so many new points are emerging every day from it if you don't hear the murli how can you imbibe knowledge <clears throat> because murli is the source of knowledge this is a study the supreme teacher is teaching you children and so you should never miss the murli song having found you we have found the whole world the earth and sky all belong to us very good song om shanti you souls you souls now know the father you children know that shiv baba alone is the one who doesn't have a subtle or physical body corporeal incorporeal means no body at all no physical no subtle body bodiless the subtle bodies of brahma vishnu and shankar are shown they are also given names even subtle body yet name you children understand that each of those subtle bodies have a soul in them very important thing subtle body has a soul without soul body cannot exist at this time you children become lords of the three worlds no one would say that lakshmi and narayan are the lords of the three worlds lakshmi and narayan do not know the three worlds that is incorporeal world subtle region and corporeal world you have to judge everything with your intellect so to so as to whether it is right or wrong baba never says that accept it without understanding so we have to understand we have to visualize we have to judge through our intellect so we always say no, listen then think that is the judge and then try to understand then put in practice and then experience so don't go blindly simply to say that whatever you hear is the truth belong to the path of devotion that is not here it is a path of knowledge here you have to understand very clearly brahma vishnu and shankar truly have subtle bodies shiva alone he is incorporeal many types of temple have been built to him and he has also been given many different names there are many temples where they have a lingam image the temple in bombay he is called babul nath temple that is lord of thorns there is only one shiva people abroad to have to have given him many names even in abroad name many names to god you children now know that you are souls the supreme father the supreme soul he is explaining to us children he is giving us the knowledge of the three worlds at this time you are the lords of three worlds because you know them unless someone knows the three worlds how could they be a lord of them only brahmins the children of brahma are lords of three worlds why <clears throat> because they have this knowledge of the three worlds the father is knowledge full and blissful so he is making us also full of knowledge and full of bliss that is called sat chit anand sat knowledge 
and anand bliss chitta means intellect the incorporeal father is giving us this knowledge <clears throat> no corporeal human being can be called god people here call him omnipresent you children now understand that god the father is the one and the only incorporeal shiva who is never sustained all others receive sustenance a soul enters a tiny body while in the womb a soul sucks his thumb shiv baba doesn't have a thumb to suck shiv baba says i don't even enter a womb whereas everyone else enters a womb they are then also sustained when an expectant mother eats something sour it affects and causes harm to the baby that's the reason in hinduism people say don't eat sour things to the mother shiv baba ask how would you sustain me i am called the sustainer of the whole world therefore there is no one higher than me he is the highest means no parent no teacher no guru yet he is a parent teacher and guru of everybody you have to understand these things very clearly turn the ocean of knowledge and extract points shiv baba he is truly the father he is called the bilward all the human beings are lovers of that bilward all of you are brides and he is the bridegroom the bridegroom is the incorporeal one no corporeal or subtle being can be called the bridegroom the bilward of all is the one incorporeal baba incorporeal souls remember their bilward why do you remember him there is definitely one difficulty or another why we are remembering because difficulty because of sorrow all devotees remember god the lovers and beloved are incorporeal so it is a talk of the you can say incorporeal that is soul and supreme soul all lovers are souls and beloved is the supreme soul <clears throat> those corporeal lovers and bilwards are also present in the physical world but there are very few of them they are attracted to each other's bodies their love is not for wise and not for present world love not for wise they simply continue to gaze at one another they don't feel happy without seeing one another each one remembers the other's body there is no question of knowledge there so no question of soul there in corporeal world no matter where they are sitting they would imagine that their billboard is standing in front of them they have visions because their love is based on purity <clears throat> five visions purity there is beauty of the body too they don't love one another because of vice but they are happy when they see each other so that was a you can say love was there but not the body no <clears throat> not the corporeal no that was the that was the reason why base was purity there is beauty of the body too they don't love one another because of vice but they are happy when they see each other while eating they remember their bill word and they forget to eat they continue to see their beloved there are only a few like them here all lovers of the one beloved shri baba so here baba is relating that thing here in form of bodiless things bodiless that is soul and supreme soul however very few become real lovers who pass with honor they are also in physical world very few become the true lover that is love without you can say vices <clears throat> and baba say those who are true lovers of him they are the they will pass with honors the eight beads are praised so much so now that you devotees have found god you should remember him so much the father says what is a children constantly remember me the father why because you receive a lot of happiness from me why we remember somebody when we get something that is not sorrow but happiness then and then we remember there they receive temporary happiness and that they have a lot of love for one another 
there in the world. Here you have unlimited love for the unlimited path. There are limitations of everything. You can say limitations. All the, you can say differentiation, that is gender, age, religion, language, etc., etc. Here, Prabhupada removed all walls, all limitations. There is unlimited love for the one. You children now, so you children know that he doesn't have a bodily name because nobody. There must definitely be dynasty of dual form of Vishnu that is Lakshmi and Narayan. There is the kingdom of Lakshmi and Narayan at the beginning of the golden age and so there would surely also be subjects. Whole kingdom is there. So in kingdom, all is required. Emperor, empress, king, queen, their family, that is royal family, then family of subjects, then there you can say servant, maids, etc., etc. <clears throat> the whole family is there, so subjects is there. The intellect says that there will be a particular number of souls at the beginning of the golden age, and then that number will continue to increase. Banyan tree, or you can say Kalpa Vruksh, or Christmas tree. Tree grows slowly and gradually. It will not grow in one day. So same way, population will not come at a time, everything. So I am not sharing the screen. Let me share the screen. <clears throat> so Baba says, Lakshmi and Narayan, they they are, you can say, beginning and they have a whole kingdom. Everything will be their subjects and kings and queens. <clears throat> and population will increase. There used to be the kingdom of Lakshmi and Narayan at the beginning of the Golden Age. There truly was the kingdom of Radha and Krishna by the banks of the river Jamuna. There are many rivers such as the rivers Ganges, river Jamuna. They used to reside by the banks of the rivers. There is nothing like the things that have been portrayed such as Dwarka, sinking beneath the sea, nor are there any villages of the deities on the source of the ocean. So whatever Dwarka they are indicating, it may be river in the past, but not, we can say, on the ocean, on the bank of the ocean, source of the ocean. <clears throat> this, this Bombay will not exist. This is now in your intellects. God the Father is most beloved. Now science also agrees that majority of the cities who are at the source of ocean, they will not be there after you can say few years only. Initially they were calculating thousands of years. Now they come down up to 2050. So still they may come down because every day situation of the world is worsening. So Baba says, it is not there. So Baba said, this Bombay will not exist. This is now in your intel is God the Father is the most big word. Christ is not called God the Father. You know that the Christ is a messenger and that the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul sent him. He came from the incorporeal world. People don't consider him to be God the Father. They consider him to be a preceptor who established the religion. Hindus don't know who established the Hindu religion or when. There is no Hindu religion. There is the original eternal deity religion. If people ask us our religion in the census, we say that we are Brahmins. At this time, we are not Hindus. At this time, we are Brahmins, the mouth-born creation of Brahma. However, when you put yourself down as Brahmins, they put you in the column of Hindus. You can know column of Brahmins in world census, in country census. There in the golden age, there is no census taken because there is just the one deity religion, one family. Therefore, there is no need to ask anything. Here there are many religions and this is why people are asked. The father sits here and explains all of these things. Therefore, keep the remembrance of the father in your intellects. He is the incorporeal one and he only has one name. You can also see the subtle image of Brahma, Vishnu and Shankar. Where is the form of Shiva? 
people understand that that is God. We cannot call ourselves God because souls take rebirth. Supreme soul didn't come in the cycle of birth and rebirth, but death and birth. It isn't that the father also takes rebirth. You now know the three worlds and this is why you are named Triloki Nath, Lord of the three worlds. Only those who know about them could be their lords. You now have knowledge of the three worlds. Only you Brahmins know this. No one else can know it. This knowledge doesn't exist there in the golden age. Only you receive it and this is why your name is glorified. This knowledge doesn't exist in the golden age. Shiva, Adi Dev, Adi Devi, and you children are shown in the Dilwala temple because you do service now. The father comes to make impure once pure, and he therefore takes the help of you children. The father says, I know these who become my helpers, and in return, I make them into the masters of heaven. Anyone can understand this. Not all students are the same, even in the school. Not all are same. Not all are number one. Shri Baba's shop is to change human beings into deities, and they are number wise. A center of Maharathis must definitely be functioning well. They would be considered to be good salesmen. All the shop that is centers belong to Shri Baba. It doesn't belong to anyone. He do the business of the imperishable dwells of knowledge. This father is so ordinary. There is so much difference between truth and the falsehood. Only the one father tells you truth because he is the only truth. All the rest is nothing but falsehood. The biggest lie is to call the supreme father, the supreme soul, the one who gives you Srimad omnipresent. Previously, People used to say that he is infinite um, previously. No one knows who Ravan is or when he came to existence. No one knows. Those people have shown Ravan in the Silver Age and taken Sri Krishna into the Copper Age. They don't even know the Golden Age. Rama and Sita used to exist in the Silver Age. There can be no question of Ravan existing in the Silver Age. All of that applies here. They have just told a lie. When you explain to people, they say that that is just the imagination of the case. This has now explained to you children. You have to imbibe the points you are given. Wherever you are, you should ask for points and study them. Don't say that you don't have time. Baba said, read Listen the moodly, don't say you don't have time. What would you call godly students who say that they don't have time? How would you be able to inspire others to imbibe? <clears throat> so many points are given. If you don't hear or read a moodly, how would you be able to imbibe it? This is an education. The supreme teacher who teaches us just the one. If you don't listen to the Murlis, how would you be able to relate the points? You children understand that the father is beyond birth and death. He doesn't take rebirth, but people celebrate his birthday. They are even beginning to stop celebrating the birthday of Shiva. Who can tell you how Shiva takes birth or what he must have done? Why? Because they don't know. In the Gita, they have mentioned the name of Sri Krishna, but he cannot come here in that form. Krishna cannot come in the auspicious confluence age and give the knowledge, because this is the part of the Adam Asian world. Sri Krishna can be called the Lord of Paradise. So he must come in paradise, not in the hell, but not the Lord of the three world, but he is not a Lord of three world because he don't know. So paradise that is heaven existed here. Sri Krishna also existed here. Radha and Krishna were not sister and brother. Both were in their own separate kingdoms. Children have had visions of how marriages takes place there. Baba entertained you a lot at the beginning. You were in the party by yourselves. 
you didn't meet your friends or relatives and so Baba showed you a lot and you will again see many things at the end because at the end nobody will be able to meet their friends and relatives what Baba did early. So Baba will entertain at that time with the reasons. You will feel as though you are sitting in paradise. People will be distressed in the final moments. Many calamities are to come. That is called extreme bloodshed without cause. The world does not know this. It isn't that that government will take directions. Everyone is now to be destroyed. You are claiming imperishable status from the eternal father, imperishable father. Even if someone becomes part of the subject, that is a great fortune in the paradise. <clears throat> because all are pure. There, there is nothing but happiness, whereas here, there is nothing but sorrow. Totally contrast. The father has now come to teach you, and so you should study. Although you might have work to do, let your hands do the work and your heart be in remembrance. Let your intellect yoga be connected to the father. While living at home, remember that one, oh, 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 the father is making you into the masters of heaven. What do you think of that? You will rule the kingdom for 21 months. There is nothing to worry about. Look how many worries people have here have. So many problems, so many issues. There, there are no worries. You experience the reward there. However, you won't even know this. Though we experience reward, we don't know. At this time, you have the knowledge that you are claiming your inheritance from the eternal father. Then you will automatically continue to receive your inheritance of the kingdom. It isn't that you will become a king by making donation or performing charity. No, that is the reward of the efforts you make at this time. Therefore, you should make so much effort that a reward for 21 births is created not one but 21 births. There, there is no question of effort or reward. We are firm of that. There, there is nothing unattained for which you would have to make effort. All are wealthy. Here people study to become judges and doctors. There, there are no judges or no doctors, etc. Because no hospitals, no jails, because no crimes, nothing, no unhealth. No, Everybody will be healthy. Everybody will be perfect. So no question of judges or doctors. <clears throat> no one commits in there. There are no thieves, etc. are there. You are becoming the masters of the whole world. You don't need to be concerned about anything. Food, etc. doesn't cost anything. Everything is free. Here do. In Dada's day, Baba's day, with Dada's day, you could get 20 kg of grain for 8 to 10 annas. 8 annas means half a rupee. So what would there have been before that? Even we have seen in the villages, when we were a child, nobody was charging the money. They were giving simply grain, barter system, just before 50 years, not more than that. So Baba's everything become cheap. According to the drama, we are going to receive everything. You are to receive the kingdom with their help. The two monkeys fight and you take the butter. They also, what did they divide and rule? So, same will apply to them also. So, they will fight in between and kingdom will come to us. The world doesn't know who he is teaching you. He is an incognito form. Oh. He cannot be seen with the eyes. Totally incognito. He gives you the kingdom of paradise in a second. There is the story of God, the friend, Kuda, Dost. That is the father's place. Not anybody else. It is father's place, God's place. Achha. To the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning. From the mother, the father, Bab Dada, the spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children, and spiritual children love, remember us, good morning, and say Namaste to the spiritual father. 
मीठे मीठे सिकल दे बच्चों प्रति मात पिता बाप दादा का याद प्यार और गुड मॉर्निंग रूहानी बाप की रूहानी बच्चों को नमस्ते हम रूहानी बच्चों की रूहानी मात पिता बाप दादा को याद प्यार गुड मॉर्निंग और नमस्ते शुक्रिया बाबा शुक्रिया एसेंस फॉर दाना पॉइंट नंबर वन बिकम ए गुड क्लेवर सेल्समैन सेल्समैन फॉर नॉलेज ऑफ बाबा एंड do the business of imperishable wells of knowledge in order to create an imperishable reward what we have to do connect your intellect in yoga to the father yani mame kam sharanam vacha ane sarva dharman paritas jan mame kam sharanam vacha chapter 18 of gita so baba was the same thing come to baba have intellect yoga with one father only point number 2 in order to pass with honors become a true lover constantly stay in remembrance of the one beloved one but none blessing may you be free from any thoughts or worries you all wanted to be free from thoughts and worries तो बाबा मे के गिव गिविंग ए मेथड हाउ टू बिकम फ्री फ्रॉम थॉट्स और वरी बाय बिकमिंग ए कंपेनियन ऑफ द ऑल माइटी ऑथोरिटी वी मस्ट बी कंपेनियन ही ऑलवेज विथ अस कंबाइन एंड हैविंग गुड विशेज फॉर एवरीवन गुड विशेज इज द बेस ऑफ एवरीथिंग टू बी गुड सो बाबा एक्सप्लेन्स सम चिल्ड्रन थिंक दैट सो एंड सो शुड बिकम वेल फ्रॉम हिज इलनेस one second their their child or husband comes into the knowledge third that their business should become good so many blah 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 so many things we are thinking this is a practical life what baba is telling it is good to have those desires because it is a positive things but all of these desires will only be fulfilled when you yourself become light no wonder and take power from the father might from the father light and might for this the vessel of your intellect has to be empty otherwise how the knowledge and power of baba will go in if you wish to benefit everyone what you have to do become an embodiment of power yourself by becoming companion of the almighty authority and move a long while having good wishes for everyone so base is good wishes and power of baba be free from any thoughts or worries and do not get trapped in any bondage so baba said so no i and ma no body consciousness then and then we have a good wishes for everyone and then and then we can connect with him with supreme god father shiv baba and we have a power or might and without light and might we cannot you can say leave our worries or thoughts slogan those who remain beyond questions may remain constantly happy hearted again baba so the method how to be constantly happy hearted not you can say some time up some time down constantly when we remain beyond question baba said don't ask the question try to find out the solution acha om shanti